Hello, I'm Christy Ebai, a professor in the Center for Health and the Global Environment at the University of Washington. One of our core activities is around training and capacity building. At the University of Washington, we have courses, undergraduate and graduate courses in global environmental change and health. We engage in mentorship with anyone interested in learning more about climate change and health. And we have a certificate program for those who would like further training in climate change and health. Outside the university, we work extensively with the World Health Organizations, its regional offices, and other development partners to train the next generation workforce. Using the WHO operational framework, the World Health Organization, shown on the right, we are engaging extensively in countries around Africa, Asia, and the Pacific. Please let us know if you have questions. Thank you. My name is Jeremy Hess. I'm the Director of CHANGE, the Center for Health and the Global Environment. CHANGE is based in the School of Public Health and an Earth Lab. Today, I'm going to be talking with you about CHART, a climate and health risk tool, which we developed with the Washington State Department of Health. Climate change is threatening our health. When it creates hazardous conditions, we need to know who's at risk, where they are, what drives their risk, and what we can do to protect their health. The tool we've developed, CHART, uses evidence-based causal pathways to link extreme heat to adverse health impacts. We use that pathway to model health risks using data on vulnerability, heat hazards, and population exposure. The tool provides place-based risk profiles with information on all of the risk drivers in a specific location. The information is then linked with location-specific guidance for reducing risk. Our tool will be publicly available soon. We're looking forward to expanding it to include other climate-sensitive health risks. Thank you for your time. At the Center for One Health Research, we're focused on lessons from animals about climate-related human health risks. We're taking the indigenous concept that whatever happens to the beasts also happens to man and uniting that with the current One Health concept about the connections between the health of ecosystems, animals, and humans. So that when animals are getting sick, what are they trying to tell us? Are they like the canary in the coal mine because they're more exposed and susceptible? In harmful algae blooms, why are the sea mammals getting sick before the humans? And with bird flu, how is climate change changing the circulation of viruses and leading to one of the largest outbreaks of bird flu ever with risks to humans? The animals can warn us, but they can also suggest strategies for coexistence. And if we look, we may learn important things. I'm Zach Wettstein, Population Health Research Fellow in Climate and Health in UW Emergency Medicine. I wanted to share with you preliminary results from a collaboration with CHANGE and the CDC Climate and Health Program. The mental health burden of wildfires on a population level are likely vast, but not well characterized. We're using Truven market scan data of psychotropic medication prescriptions to quantify the burden of mental health impacts from the 25 largest California wildfires. We're still in data exploration, but have intriguing initial results. These are daily psychotropic prescriptions after the start of the campfire in 2018. We found a striking increase in daily prescriptions for antidepressants, anxiolytics, and sleep aids compared to statins as a control. Other fires have shown a similar trend. We're currently developing our statistical model and plan to evaluate the 25 largest fires from 2011 to 19. These findings would be among the first to estimate a population mental health burden of wildfire and smoke exposure. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Stefan Wheat, and I'm here to introduce the Climate Change and Clinical Practice Symposium. Our healthcare system has a responsibility to ensure the continued ability to deliver healthcare in the face of the challenges posed by climate change. The symposium will be a half day event designed to showcase the trailblazing work of climate and health leaders in our region to address the mitigation and adaptation challenges of climate change for healthcare. Many clinicians still see climate change as an issue that is not essential to their clinical practice. We hope that the symposium will serve as a forum to create a more robust community of practice amongst healthcare providers in the Whammy region. Hosted by UW in the Center for Health and the Global Environment, we intend to showcase the relevance of the subject to clinical practice by involving practitioners from across the spectrum of healthcare delivery. That means we need all of your perspectives. 
Together, we can develop bold, effective strategies to protect our patients, improve our delivery of care, and ensure the resilience of our healthcare systems. Thank you, and please be on the lookout for more information to come.